friends are involved. Don't worry. You'll all die together eventually. Not just you, but all life itself. <sighs> I will destroy this world. Everything will die. And this place will be reborn into a new world. His world. Where only one life remains. His world? Preposterous. I don't know how you intend to bring this about. But I won't let you create a world like that. I don't need your understanding. All I will do is grant a boy his wish. A boy? That's right. Doesn't it ring a bell, Kirijo? Your desires created that boy and gave birth to me. What? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Minazuki. Sho Minazuki. I am the embodiment of your sins. Just take your time and wait. There's nobody around. I hope everyone's okay. I found you. Yukun? Oh, thank goodness you're here! Yeah, I was waiting for you. I knew you'd be coming here. Huh? You ain't Yukun. You're a shadow. Not, Not bad, bad anti shadow suppression weapon. weapon. Then, then again, again I, I never intended, intended to deceive you by taking this form. Showing up looking like Yukun. What's your game, buddy? I came to warn you. Where, where you, you are, are is not where, where you should be. Well, what are you saying? Don't, Don't get so worked up. up. Don't you know it? Deep down, you know that you're nothing but trouble to them. <gasps> if you'd never shown up, this town would have been peaceful. They don't think of you as a friend. You're just a nuisance that brought them to score. Well, that's... But they all accepted me for who I am! No matter what excuse you give, you're still just a weapon. The tool can never be friend a human, and you will never be accepted by them either. That ain't true! That can't be! I... You, Labras, what'll you do? I hope Mitsuru san and the others are okay. Could you please go right to that tower? We'll head over there too as soon as we can. I am. 
am a weapon. My body is mechanical and my heart was given to me. No matter what I wish I was, I can never be human. Oh? But you, Kunanam, Mitsuru-san and Yukari-san, and even Tenkun all think of me as someone precious. I'm the fifth generation anti-shadow suppression weapon. I'm Labrys, a member of the Shadow Operatives. I see. Since you were just awakened to your persona, I thought you could be shaken up again. But circumstances have changed. I'll have to change you by force. Now bring on the ring! really was a shadow. <laughs> Labrasan! Kenkun! Kurumaru-san! I'm so glad you're safe. Is something wrong? Nah, I'm okay. If anything comes up, Please feel free to talk to me about it. That is, if you're okay with sharing it with me. Tough. 
Yeah, I got to wondering what I would do if the real Yukun thought the same way. And that got me all scared. <sighs> it's difficult to truly believe in other people. Henko? It would be easy for me to say that he'd never think that way about you. But people are weak. They can't help but believe in things that make life easier for them. That's only deceiving yourself, though. You need to have resolve if you want to learn the truth. Even if that means getting hurt yourself. Resolve. If you're worried about the truth, then I believe you should go to him directly and find out how he feels. Otherwise, you'll never be true friends. Cancun. Oh, I'm sorry for being so impolite. It's easy to tell others to learn unpleasant truths, but it's more like I'm trying to convince myself. I see. A relationship between two people cannot be formed until they speak their minds to one another. Doing so requires this... resolve. Who's there? Who are you? Ah. How truly rude of me. My name is Theodore. I didn't intend to eavesdrop on you. But, as I wandered in search of Cola, I found myself here. That blue costume. Are you connected to Elizabeth? My! So you know of my sister. Um, Labrasan, is this person an enemy? Mm, probably not. Elizabeth helped me realize a ton of stuff, but... Well, she came on a little strong sometimes. Oh? Was she rude to you? She once forced me to eat a large quantity of cinnamon, and I thought my mouth was going to be desiccated forever. C cinnamon Uh, please, don't worry about it. It is merely a bittersweet page from our youths. Uh, I see. Oh, right. My name's Labris. This is Kenkun and Karumaru-san. Um, they're my... Well, it's nice to meet you, Theodore. We're Labris-san's comrades. <laughs> comrades. Thank you for the polite introductions. It is a pleasure to meet you. By the way, on a different subject, has anyone seen my sister Elizabeth anywhere? Elizabeth? Nah. The last time I saw her was in a dream. I haven't seen her around here. Is that so? There's something I was meaning to ask her if I managed to find her. I saw traces of cinnamon along the road here, so I thought that she might have come this way. Ah, please forgive me. It seems I've detained you for too long. Please, do not be alarmed. I have no intention of getting in your way. Oh, that's right. We need to hurry. Labrasan, shall we get going? Huh? But don't we have to wait for you, Kari-san? Do you remember what that General Teddy said when he showed up on the monitor? Oh, if we don't fight and win the P1 Climax within an hour, the world will end. Yes. That's why I think it's important we rescue Mitsuru-san and the others as quickly as possible. Yukari-san will be fine. Junpei-san's strong, too, after all. All right, let's go. See you, Theodore. Please, take care. Still, where am I to obtain this cola?
Koromaru-san? It would seem there's someone inside this classroom. Son, we'll get you down at once. Who? Ken? Thanks for saving me, Ken. Labrus. And Koromaru, too? Sorry to barge in on you. I couldn't wait to hear your story, so I came here. <laughs> I'm glad you're so impatient. Sorry about this. I'm glad you're safe now. Where are the others? Ah, am I late again? Sorry guys, my bad. Oh hey, Ken and Koromaru. And, um, are you Labrus? Junpei-san, it's been a long time. I'm glad you made it here. Did you run into Yukari-san along the way? Glad? You're glad about stealing the limelight from me? I've never faced Junpei-san before. Hey, Ken-kun. Are you okay with fighting somebody who looks just like one of your buddies? I mean, aren't you afraid? Like, what if that's the real one? That's a silly question, Labrasan. Even if it did turn out to be the real Junpei-san, if I'm truly being challenged, then I can never back down. Truly challenged? Yes. When it comes down to it, I will stand up and fight for anything I truly believe in. Even if I must do so against my own companions. <laughs> Looks like you're finally learning to talk like that, Ken. Akihiko-san! Labrus, let me tell you something. Even if the enemy you face is someone you once counted as a friend, in a battle for your beliefs, the bonds formed between true comrades will never break. Uh, are, are you trying, trying to bore me to submission? submission? Let's, Let's get, get this, this over, over with, with already. already. Bring, Bring on, on the ring! ring. Selfish rules as always. Now, normally I'd take him on, but let me take a quick break from the fighting for now. Yes, please rest, Sonata-san. We can handle this. I can do it too. Final. Let's go. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. Watch out. Here I go. Here I go.
let this win get to your head. Keep training. Are you all right, Tsunada-san? Yeah, I wish I could say I was, but I'm pretty exhausted. I won't be able to call on my persona for a while. I guess that cross drains the spiritual energy from whoever's stuck on it. happened to the fake Yukun, too. It's flowing up. Does that mean it's being collected somehow? What in the world is that? There's something else that I've noticed. Everyone in Inaba, aside from us Persona users, has vanished. Doesn't that remind you of the Dark Hour and Tartarus? That's ominous. If I remember right from last time we were here, the enemy was trying to turn Personas into shadows and collect their power. And we know all too well what happens when shadows gather in Tartarus. Sonata's son... Immediately after we reached Inaba, we were attacked by someone who looked very similar to Ikutsuki. Ikutsuki? That's impossible. We saw him. Yes, though I don't know if it was really him. But one of the Persona users from Inaba, Naoto-san, knew about Ikutsuki. The detective, huh? <laughs> so they're running around out there too. Indeed. I wanted to find an explanation to this situation as soon as possible, so we shared what we knew with each other. This is their town. No matter how much we might try to stop them, they have the right to protect this place. Mitsuru knows that, at least. Though it seems like she was trying to bear the entire burden herself again. And they're all incredibly skilled, too. If we can meet up with them, we'll be able to solve this case that much quicker. You made the right call, Ken. Thank you! <sighs> Ikutsuki, huh? If he's really behind this, then we're at even more of a disadvantage. Sorry, Ken, but let me make sure I've got it all straight. So we fell right into the enemy's trap and got ourselves captured. <laughs> How careless of us. By the way, Sonata-san, how have Mitsuru-san and the others been? I haven't seen them in a while. I hadn't seen her in a long time till I got back either. But don't worry, she hasn't changed at all. If anything, she seemed even more dreadful. <laughs> I see. I don't know if I should feel relieved or worried. What, does Mitsuru-san scare you too? She's always really nice to me. You just don't know how frightening she can be. Try getting hit with that kick of hers. You won't eat normally for a week. She's very intense. And that's coming from me. Now that I think about it, I can't believe she was just a high school student when we met. Huh. If that's the case, then I'll try asking her to start being nicer to you two. You can't. Don't. You don't have to get so flustered, you know? <laughs>
Is this really Sensei School? It looks even weirder than it did before. Yikes, this is really bad. I haven't seen anything like this since three years ago. Posters up. It kind of reminds me of a school festival. The Sister Complex Kingpin of Steel? That's Sensei! Sensei is so strong, kind, and a reliable leader. And over here is Chie Chan. She trains a ton every day, and she eats a ton too. There's a poster of Mitsuru Senpai too? The, the Imperious Queen of Executions. What's wrong, Yuka-chan? What about Mitchan? Oh, it's nothing. I just remembered something that happened during our school trip. Oh, an execution, huh? Well, I know what that's like. Huh? Have you done that to someone before? Nah, it was done to me. And I see Hammer to repay me for my innocent curiosity. Just remembering it gives me the chilly willies. Oh, I can imagine that. Talking to you reminds me of someone I know. There's an idiot in our group, too. Oh, lucky me. I found Yucatan. Junpei? Right there. I told Junpei to wait for me at the station. What are you doing here? Uh, hey, wait a second. That's no way to greet your old friend. You're supposed to get emotional. Oh, wait. You another monster, Yukari? Hmm? A monster? Me? Wait, so are you the real Junpei? Ah, he reeks of sweat. Seriously, can't you have some consideration for the people who have to smell you? He's real. Huh? Whoa, aren't you the guy who was on TV earlier? Why are you with Yucatan? Why? Because I'm Yukachan's knight in fuzzy armor, obviously. In other words, we share a pledge of eternal love. E eternal love? Yukachan, do you know this weirdo with a beardo? Whoever he is, I don't think he's a fake. Yeah, I know him. You seem energetic as always, Junpei. Oh, is that what's going on here? Wait, don't be ridiculous. I'm obviously the real me. Well, I'm glad you're safe. And sorry, I told you to wait at the station. But then I heard that Mitsudu-senpai and the others are in danger. Nah, it's cool. I was kind of wandering around too. But wait, they've been captured? Seriously? Yeah, about that. What? Junpei, you ran into Risei-chan and Yuki-chan? Were they all right? Yep, totally fine. Man, school chicks these days are really tough. By the way, uh, who are you anyway? Aren't you that, what was it, General Teddy? How dare you! It's outrageous that you treat me the same as that faker! I'm the one, the only, the adorable Teddy! The General Teddy from the broadcast appears to be a copy of Teddy here. Teddy's a Persona user from this town, and he's looking for his friends. Huh? You can use a Persona? I figured you were nothing but a walking costume. 
Grr. How rude. I'm not just an empty suit. I have a persona. And I have something inside, too. Look. Hello, everyone! Whoa, white guy! There really is something inside! I worked hard to grow this body because I wanted to score with a girl! Nice to meet you, Junpei! Oh, uh, your Japanese is a little off, though. You make a costume, not grow it. Do you understand? Meg, not grow. Stop talking like an idiot, Junpei. But wow, I figured you were empty too. Hmm? I'm sorry, did I surprise you, Yuka-chan? Ugh, this is starting to break my brain. I'm sorry to ask you this once you took it off, but can you just keep your costume on for now? Aw, but I just came out. Ooh, but this must mean that you like my bear skin better. <laughs> It's original flavor Teddy again! So don't hold back! Ladies and other ladies, start your snugglings! Oh, come on, guys, enough playing around. Let's go. We have to hurry and find the others. Huh? Oh, right. Go, go, go! Someone. The rest are shadows. Look, loves manly battles and is really good at grabbing people and stabbing things. Uh, this poster is giving me bad vibes. I don't want to charge in without a plan and run into this guy. Let's look for another way in, maybe. Don't be stupid. Someone's here, right? Come on, we're going in. Finally, Finally, you showed, showed up. up! Hello, boys! I've been waiting forever and ever for you. Especially you, Slugger. Um, just to be clear, you don't know this guy, right? No! He's got no business calling me out like a designated hitter. Hey, hey, Teddy! That's your friend, right? Why don't you sniff him and see if he's one of those fakes? I don't have to! That's definitely a fake! If Kanji really liked you, he'd be stuttering and baking you treats instead of talking like that! Oh, I've got a treat for you. It's in my fists! And I can't wait to show it to you. Bring on the ring! All right, you guys go in there and fight him. I'll uh, cheer you on from over here. Don't be a wuss. You're fighting too. Let's deal with this quickly. You're not going to beat me down that easily. Here we go, Dennis. Here! Oh, here's you! Keep an eye on their 
down yet. Oh, you're making too cheap. Persona. What? Trismegistus. No, Here. Oh, here's you. I'm not playing this. Hello, kids. So just to be clear, I didn't even want to go in here, all right? So this is all on you guys. I'm sensing that someone through there! Junpei, hurry and open this! Yeah, I'm on it! Escapade. I was just joking. This isn't the time for jokes. Fuka, can you hear me? We've come to rescue you. Ah, uh, are you coming too? Yukari-chan and Junpei-kun, did you rescue me? Sorry we're late, but you're gonna be okay now.
Hey, Fuka, it's been a while, huh? And now that we're here, there's nothing to worry about. Who would do such a thing to Fuchan? I'll never forgive them! Thank you too, Teddy. But have you seen Mitsuru-senpai? And... She's really exhausted. You shouldn't try to move for a while. It doesn't look like the others are around here. We have to rescue them. I couldn't do anything. All right, well, let's let Fuka rest here while we go on. We just have to rescue Akihiko-san and Mitsuru-senpai, right? We can't leave Fuka alone here. What if another fake shows up like before? Oh, right. Uh, hmm. All righty. I'm volunteering to stay behind. You will? Leave it to me. I can use a persona, and I'm the best at escorting ladies. Well, if you're that confident, maybe we should leave this to him. I'm counting on you, Sir Teddy. Be her knight. Teddy, are Yukun and the others here too? Huh. From what Junpei told us, Risei-chan and Yuki-chan left Juness to look for Kanji and Nao-chan. But if they notice what's happened to the school, I'm sure they'll end up here. I see. If Risei-chan's with them, then there's no need to worry. Yukari-chan, Junpei-kun, please go on ahead and save the others. I'll remain here with Teddy. I'll contact you all with my persona once I've recovered a little. Please, just give me a little time. Hey, Junpei, stop going so far ahead. It's bad enough that I can't really see that far. Seriously, this hallway goes on forever. You think it's time for a nostalgic replay of Junpei's Believe It or Don't? What? Uh, hey! There are many strange things in this world. Imagine, if you will, a boys' baseball team led by the handsome coach Junpei. What you'll hear next is a true story, a tale of mystery and fear. Better punch! Knock it off, you know I hate that ghost story stuff. And when did you start coaching kids? Ow, will you stop hitting me? Didn't I tell you, I coach a kids team, and I'm surprisingly good at it. Is that why you reek of sweat? Do you ever wash that shirt? What kind of slob do you take me for? And you're one to talk. You're wearing some pretty funky clothes yourself. I have a reason for this. Jeez. I knew I should have changed. Dead end, huh? Well, I guess we better go on in through here. Creepy, but maybe this is where General Teddy is making his broadcasts from. The Moonlight Bridge.
Yucatan! Is that... I guess we have to save her! But how? Are we gonna head all the way back to Iwatodai? There's no reason to worry about things like that. After all, this place is your final destination. Doesn't it bring back memories? You fought those artificial Persona users on that bridge. It was a conflict of burning passion. There was one simple rule. Power decides all. Now, try and fulfill my innermost desire. Bring on the ring! Hey, Yucatan, I know this is a fake akihiko song, but isn't that the kind of thing he's normally ranting about? Maybe, but this isn't the time to talk about stuff like that. We can't lose no matter who we're up against. Oh, are you on fire, Yucatan? All right, I'm getting pumped too. Let's go for a grand slam! Final. I'm cheering for Miss you today, me. so Time don't lose your day. I'm fired up. Here, <laughs> we're in a down now, guys. Right? Combo attack. I'm here. Keep pushing that. Come on, roll now. This is it. I'm here right now. Here. Ow. 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 That hurts. Here. Here. That was a really good copy of Akihiko-san, huh? What a fight! Wait a second. Hey, Junpei! Is that really the Moonlight Bridge in Iwatodai? It's not like there's any other Moonlight Bridge, is there? But remember how we found Club Escapade in this school earlier? That might mean... Junpei, open that door! Huh? This, uh, gotcha.
save you, I guess. You can tell me. Do me a favor and catch her. Got it. Persona! Are you okay? Junpei-san and Yukari-san? Where am I? everyone else though considering the situation it would appear we were used as bait to lure you all here i immediately lost consciousness after falling off the cliff but i do remember something what's that i sensed that someone was close by that must have been the person who's behind this entire case the culprit i guess did you see what he looked like no yukari san but i did sense something odd about that person I'm sure that it was a resonance of a plume of dusk. Huh? What? What's a plume of dusk thing again? Simply put, a plume of dusk is what can grant a heart to machines such as myself. Does that mean the culprit has a plume of dusk with him? Oh, right. Machines don't work in the dark hour, so you have to stick these plumes of dusk in them, right? Then is the perpetrator using a motorcycle or something like Mitsuru Senpai's? No. That was not the reaction of a plume of dust being loaded into an electronic device. It was obviously the wavelength of a heart like mine. So, well, what does that mean? Is the kidnapper a robot like you, I guess? That is what I cannot figure out. The reading itself was definitely that of a human, after all. I'm starting to get confused. What's going on here? rescued before we discuss it anymore. Don't worry, there's no way we can lose against most enemies as long as we stick together. Yukari-san, thank you. You're absolutely correct. All right, let's go then. But something large there, too. It's possible that they're in combat. My sister is here? Where is she? Directly ahead of where you are. You should be able to reach them in no time. We'll head there immediately as well. 
Please be safe. There's a door on the other side. That must be it. Okay, let's go. Will you be all right, I guess? My systems are not all at standard parameters, but they are steadily recovering. back a lot of memories, doesn't it? Kind of like reliving a page from our youth, isn't it? Don't be ridiculous. There's no way it would all fit on a single page. I agree. This place is deeply important to me. It's also where everything started. I cannot let my feelings from that time go to waste. That is why we cannot yield, no matter what. Be sure to return the favor with my fists. Place. Doesn't feel like anywhere else. Sonata san, this. Talk about having bad taste. Whoever's doing this really wants this to be the entrance to hell. Oh, there should be no problem. You can stay here and watch while I deal with them. 
It should take no time at all. Akihiko-san! Labrys! Uh, Master? Labrys is here too? Sister, I am a weapon. It is my mission to follow orders and eliminate all targets. Now, sister, why are you getting in my way? Get in your way? As you may have guessed, I am a duplicate of Aegis. But I am such an exact copy of your specifications that I may as well be the real thing. I will carry out my master's orders. I cannot comprehend why you, a fellow machine, are trying to prevent me from carrying out my task. You're a tool, just as I am, sister. Unfortunately, you were stolen in the previous battle. And now, we must be enemies. The Shadow Operatives control you, while I take my orders from my master. Isn't that the only real difference between us? That ain't true! I'm doing this to my own free will! Free will? Is that what you base your argument on? Our memories are nothing but data. Ones and zeros in our minds. How can you prove that what you know is true? That your mind wasn't written over? It's not a song, let's leave this to her. I'm sure she'll be fine. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. You're right. I should trust in her. Sister, Sister. friendship and trust means nothing to the likes of us. Yet you still attempt to fight me. You're wrong. <clears throat> I'm an anti-shadow weapon, too. I... I can understand what you're saying, but there's something I'm even more sure of. I just told me that going through the joy and pain of different things made her into who she is now. I remember that. And now I remember that the reason why I can stand here and fight you is thanks to all our sisters who died to make me who I am. Those are painful memories. But if I forgot them, I wouldn't exist. That's what I'll fight for. The pain ain't made up. These memories are my own that I formed with everybody else. They aren't fake. They're my heart. Labrys. Labrys. Understood. Master, I have a request to make. Testing, testing. What's this? A dumb old machine calling me up? What nerve? I'm a busy bear. Forgive me, but I have a favor I must ask of you. Please lift the barriers on this battlefield and allow these people to come inside. Huh? You want to let us in? I want to fight them. I wish to crush all their bonds before my sister's very eyes. What? 
Oh, for Pete! When you make a copy of a real person, the copy gets all the quirks of their personality, too! Ah! Well, rather than getting persona fragments from those dried-up old husks, you might get fresher ones from those guys. Persona fragments? Oh, did I say too much? Anyway, let's have a ring change! You! Are you alright? Yosuke kun! Chie! Thank you for inviting us in before your battle concluded. But we're not going to show you any mercy. There is no need to thank me. I am about to eliminate all of you right now, after all. Time for me to make a comeback as well. This is a grudge match now. You guys seem a little different from what I was expecting you to be. But I won't be fooled. I'll protect everyone with all my strength. Finally! Looks like we've won. You, you don't, don't need, need to, to look, look at me like, like that. that. Either, Either way, we, we only have a limited lifespan. What do you mean? We, we were created, created for the sole purpose of fighting you. Once that duty has been carried out, all we have left to do is expire. Fighting is your duty. I will not bid you good luck. I, I wish, wish for, for my master, master to emerge victorious, if possible. Thank you, Akihiko-san. I was too close. Huh? What's a dog doing here? I mean, he's adorable, but... Sorry for causing you such trouble. It seemed like you were facing quite a difficult fight. Ooh, I'm ashamed to call myself your student. Nah, I should be thanking you. I'm sorry if you were all worried.
No, that's not it. When we got to this weird room, we found Mitsuru-san up on a cross. So Chie and I rushed over to get her down, but there was somebody there. It wasn't the fake Igus? No, I don't think so. I didn't see a face, but the voice sounded like a guy. You didn't see his face? How far away could he have been? Well, he was kind of standing in the shadows. And the moment I saw his red eyes, my whole body froze up like I was petrified or something. That's right. When I went in to save them, I was attacked by a persona I've never seen before. Red eyes. And a persona? His. I'm not having any luck either. Damn it, why? Mitsuru san, please wake up! What's wrong, Koromaru? Is someone there? Someone's coming this way. So I wasn't seeing things. 